I will join you. I will try to be what the people need. Good. I'm very pleased to hear that. And that you found what you needed here. I could not have done so without my friends. I am grateful. Valhalla is at your disposal, Kratos. If you have more you wish to work out, now or later, we will heed the call. What is the state of Svartalfheim? It's been tough. The dwarves had been under Odin's thumb for so long. Now they're having to completely reshape their economy to provide for themselves again. Many are looking to Durlin and other outcast members of the old resistance for guidance. But thus far, he's refusing the call. The wounds are deep and will take time to heal. Once they do, Freya thinks Durlin would be a welcome addition to the Council. Glad to see you back, Kratos. Perhaps you are finding a truth similar to the one I discovered so long ago. That as we desire to project peace in the world, it becomes necessary to honor and satisfy the fighter within us. Valhalla remains available to you as you need it. As do I. I will see you soon, dear. I do not doubt it. I've come to a decision. At least for the time being, I'm going to step back from the price Valhalla has asked of me. Good for you, Seagram. I think maybe it's time I traveled. Experience these realms and the lands beyond. Not as Valhalla's emissary, but as a person. That's perfect. You've always dreamed of a grand sea voyage, seeing the world. Perhaps I could go with you. I've been told I'm a useful guide. Perhaps. But let's not distract Kratos further. I'm having a bit of a sinking feeling that Seagram doesn't want me traveling with her. You knew that before you asked. Did I, brother? You know the journey she seeks. It is the one you took, and I took. The kind that brings you to the tests you need. The kind you take alone. That's true. I gave in to her weakness. Even now, there's some part of me that just wants to tell her how much I love her and beg her to stay. But that's bloody selfish. I need to do better than that. Seekron, listen. You have choices ahead of you that none but you can make. I'll always be there for you when you need me. And if what you ever need is for me to let you go, then damn it, I'd find a way. But whatever comes, I just want you to put yourself first for once. You're so much more than any office, any title, any function. And I can't wait to see who else you may become. I'm so relieved you understand. Now that Kratos has found answers to his questions, I believe my service here is done. Arrangements are being made. Please, continue to seek what more you would seek within. I promise, I won't just disappear. How are you faring, Mimir? I know Seagrin's decision must be difficult. May I ask, deep down, what is it she means to you? So much of everything good in what I am is only due to my wanting to be the person she saw me as. Take her out of the equation, and I wonder if I'd ever have stopped being a scoundrel in service of scoundrels. Love can make us wish to improve. I was changed by what Faye saw in me. But losing her did not put an end to who I had become. Her inspiration remains. Aye. 
I suppose being the person they turned us into is a way to keep them with us. Honor the impact they had on us. Mimir, what you said about love turning you into a better person. I wonder, what if that better person was within you all along, but you could only see it once it was reflected in another? As though love is the feeling of recognizing the potential in our own soul. You mean to say falling in love is really only about ourselves? Not only that, one hopes, but the more we can own the part that is about ourselves, the more we can see others for who they really are, and love them, truly, in whatever form that takes. The mere Kratos, my time to depart draws near. The ways of Valhalla are familiar to you both now. You may continue and return as you desire. I'll wait for you on the beach. We'll be there, Sigrun. Are you all right? Aye, brother. I feel a pain in an organ I no longer possess, but the sooner she sets off, the sooner she may return. Again, Kratos. Having fun yet? Arms up. 
Oh! 
You've got me beat, Kratos. Mm. Another fine showing, worthy of your new title. Until we see each other again, stay safe. Thank the two of you for keeping an eye on me. And thank you, my queen. My sister, Sigrun. Whether Valkyrie, Shield Maiden, or whatever else you should call yourself in time, I shall always be your sister. Do you hear me? I hear you. So this is it then? For now. For however long. Good. I mean, I'll miss you more than I can say, but whatever we ever were, or, or weren't, or might have been if the timing weren't just so... I need you to know that it mattered. All of it. Knowing you helped make me a person I can stand to be. And all I want for you in exchange is... everything. I can't imagine a world in which I don't end up very close with you, my love. But let me come back to you whole. Let me come back not needing anyone to tell me what I need to be happy. I can't begrudge you getting to know yourself. After all, it's been one of the great pleasures of my life. Farewell, Sigrun, and good luck. Thank you, Kratos. Farewell, my friends. Fair winds, my love. <laughs>